For the first time ever, a makeup club has become a staple at Penn Trafford. Stay tuned to brush up on one of PT's newest clubs. The Drama One class is geared up for another school year. Find out later in the show what they'll be focusing on in the world of theater. All this and more on today's episode of Wake Up Warriors. Live from Penn Trafford High School, this is Wake Up Warriors. Wake Up Warriors starts now. Good morning, Penn Trafford, and welcome to Wake Up Warriors. Today is Wednesday, September 28th. I'm TJ. And I'm Ryer. The Penn Makeup Club is one of the newest clubs the high school has to offer. We sent reporter Nick Shermito to go and get the Makeup inside club scoop on what the new club, club is that all about. This year. We talked with club founder, senior Phelan Newman, on what made her want to start this club. The Penn Trafford Makeup Club, uh, or as I like to call it, the MUAs of Penn Trafford, is what I would describe as kind of this creative art space for anyone who is interested in makeup. Like no matter who you are, what you are, where you come from, you are so loved and absolutely welcome to join. If you don't have any experience, uh, you can still join anyway. We will teach you. Uh, we have lots of things in store that are makeup related. We're gonna do a variety of things and I'm so, so excited for it. I just really wanted to create a collaborative workspace that really it's almost like an art class in a way but with makeup and also honestly because of the ever-growing beauty industry we have so much in store I've been working on uh, lots of plans lots of everything so uh, yeah I'm very excited we also talked with club sponsor Mrs. Birch on why she wanted to be the sponsor of this club I'm super excited about this club because Phelan is an extremely talented makeup artist and uh, Myself and a lot of students at Penn Trafford have a lot to learn from her. And it came about because we were on the Dominican trip together and she said, hey, I have this great idea for a club. And she said, I really wish it could happen. And I said, Phelan, let's make it happen. And she just kind of took it from there. And I decided to be a sponsor because she's amazing. She's got a lot of talent and this is gonna be a super fun club. I know Phelan has a lot of goals for the club and she really wants to teach makeup artistry to the students of Penn Trafford and you know just get people excited about trying different things and all levels are welcome. I mean I know I can learn a lot from her so I'm excited to be the sponsor. This has been Nick Shermito reporting for PT TV. It's that time of year again, PT. Homecoming is right around the corner. Tickets will be sailing all lunches from next Monday through Wednesday, October 12th. The tickets are $25 each, and absolutely no tickets will be sold after Wednesday, October 12th. So get organized now. If you're on the restricted list for any reason, you will not be able to purchase a ticket. Outside guest forms are available in Miss Martini's room 141 on the school website or in the main office. If you have any questions, please see Miss Martini as soon as possible. Hope to see you there. The Drama One class is stepping back onto the stage for another year. Reporter Brielle Snyder caught with Mr. Fox to learn more about what's in store. Drama One is an all-encompassing class for the dramatic arts. So we teach everything from acting to business of running a show, so production. We also work on the technical aspects, so we work on curtains and lighting, stage direction, all kinds of things, sound, so it's, it's everything. As originally it was um, Dr. Harris's idea to offer this class about four years ago. He wanted to have an opportunity for um, students to, to have a class since the uh, Drama Guild's been so successful over the past to try to um, stir up more interest um, in the Drama Guild and perhaps use that class as a, as a bridge between what happens at school day and what happens after school. This has been Brielle Snyder reporting for PTTV. Attention seniors, Senior Portrait Makeup Day is taking place right now in the auditorium. Any senior who still needs a portrait taken for the yearbook or desires a retake should report to the auditorium when called alphabetically. If you're an early release student to who needs to have their portrait taken, please email Ms. Thornton to make arrangements. Seniors, are you stressed about your college essays or have you already submitted yours to your desired college? We sent out reporter Ella Welsh to sit down and learn all of Mrs. Thornton's tips and tricks on writing college essays. Tip number one would be do your research first. So you need to know the essay prompt, you need to know what the school is requiring you to respond to and what the word count is, those other requirements. 
Tip number two, keep your focus on that specific prompt. Make sure you're answering the question that the school wants you to answer. Or if you're writing from the Common App, make sure you're specifically responding to that question that you've selected and keep consistent with your theme of your essay. Number three, don't repeat something that's already on your application. This is your opportunity to reveal something about yourself that your grades, your test scores can't reveal. It should be your personality. Good morning, seniors! Today is the last day to sign up for College Application Day. Do not miss this opportunity. Ms. Sherman sent the seniors an email this morning with a link to register. Chess Club has started moving across the board. Reporter Don Morelli talked to President Josh Goldberg about what's going on inside the club. You know, being president, a big role to fill. There's a lot of people that rely on me to make the right decisions. My favorite part about Chess Club, it's got to be that we have free food every single week and that I get to miss school for tournaments all the time. Uh, pretty much this year we're going to do four tournaments. We're going to go to a bunch of different schools and have a huge tournament at our own school at the end of the year. If you come and play, if you're good at chess, um, I can get you out of school. You just have to qualify to be on the roster to compete in our chess tournaments. Do you want a chance to win a Reese's gift card and be featured in a yearbook? All you have to do is follow PT Yearbook on Instagram and send a photo of you and your friends doing something fun over the summer break. This could be a concert, a vacation, a Pirates game, or any other fun activity or event. With your photo submission, you'll be automatically entered to do a gift card drawing. The deadline is Wednesday, October 5th, and the winner will be announced on Friday, October 7th. Attention Senior National Honor Society members. There is a mandatory meeting for already inducted members this Friday in the LLA. The meeting is from 2.30 to 3 p.m. Important information about this year's involvement in NHS will be discussed. Plan on attending. Now I'll send it over to, to Aiden for the sports rundown. Last night, boys soccer had a hard-fought game and tied Gateway 2-2. Two two. PT was down 2-0 with 7 minutes left in the game when Logan Murphy scored a goal giving the boys hope. Shortly after, with 2 minutes left in the game, Logan Schwartz secured a second goal off a penalty kick, which gave the boys life in overtime. After a double overtime with no score change, Gateway and our Warriors ended the night with a draw. The Lady Warrior Cross Country team ran against the Trobe and Ligonier Valley yesterday. Amelia Brilla broke Latrobe's course, course record with a time of 19 minutes and 41 seconds. Great job to Victoria Davis running a 24-20, Karina Whipke with a 25-58, and Allison Huffman with a 29-05. Congrats, ladies. Last night, the girls' volleyball team took on Norwin for a sexton match. They won three matches to none over the Knights. It was a dominant win with the, war, with the Warriors. They next take on Hampton on Monday in an exhibition match. Yesterday in sports, golfer Nick Tarowski competed in the first round of Whippeo Individual Boys Champions at Champion Lake. He ended up shooting a 73, which puts him at tie for second on the leaderboard. The final round will be held on October, on October 6th at Allegheny Country Club. Tonight in sports, the girls' tennis team competes in Whippeo Double Tournaments. The field hockey team takes on Aquinas Academy at 6.30 at Warrior Stadium, and the girls' soccer team travels to Franklin Regional to take on the Panthers at 8. Good luck to our Warriors tonight. That's all I have for sports today. Let's send it back to the desk. Thank, Thank you for, for watching Wake, Wake Up Warriors. Warriors. Please, Please stand, stand for the, the pledge of the flag. flag. I'm TJ. And I'm Ryer. Have a great day, PT.